Today we're taking a look at the Be Quiet Pure Loop 3 all-in-one water cooler. Thanks to Be Quiet for sending this one over for us to take a look at. I have the 240mm model here, and I'll be setting it up and testing it out on my Ryzen 9600X rig. The 9600X is a 6-core CPU that you definitely could air cool, but I really wanted to test out the 240mm AIO on this because I think that'll help maximize those burst speeds for a single core, and it'll help us achieve a very high multi-core speed on average, especially with PBO enabled. In my opinion, 240mm AIOs are perfect for 6-core CPUs like this one. It is a 65W TDP CPU after all, and I think at max it'll only draw about 88 watts. You probably could cool the 8-core 16-thread 9700X with the 240mm RAD as well. The Pure Loop 3 series coolers are obviously coming in 240, 280, and 360 mil rad sizes, so you definitely can scale up if you need more cooling capacity. We are getting 120 millimeter PWM fans to help make sure that we get that cooling. This cooler does come in an RGB variant, and that's the one that I have here today. These fans are optimized for radiator usage, which is great. The entire cooler can stay relatively quiet while maintaining good performance. At about 50% pump and fan speed, the cooler is only generating about 15.4 dBA worth of sound, according to Be Quiet. Bump that up to 75%, and we're looking at 27.3 dBA, and if you do need to max it out, you're only looking at about 35.2 dBA at 100%. That's quite good for a water cooler, especially if 120mm fans, in my opinion. These fans do have a kind of daisy chain type PWM combined ARGB cable. The fans themselves do not actually have standard PWM and ARGB 3-pin connectors. It's merged into this one single connector, and then they've included a basically a Y cable. You plug them into each other, and then you plug that into your motherboard for fan and RGB control. This will definitely save you a ton of space in terms of cable management, but like I said, it does mean that the fans do not have those standard connectors. As far as build quality goes, just like the Pure Loop and the Pure Loop 2 series, the build quality is excellent here. Everything was built well, no manufacturing defects that I can see, no funky quirks with installing this or the fitment or anything like that. The installation was actually relatively easy, especially because this is a smaller 240mm AIO. As always, Be Quiet did build in a refill port for the cooler, which is just plain awesome. All-in-one water coolers will always lose liquid over time, no matter which brand you end up buying. It basically just evaporates through the tubing. There's nothing you can do about it, so I really like it when manufacturers include a refill port. Be Quiet even goes one step further, and they actually provide a premix bottle of liquid that you can actually refill or top off over time. I really like to see that, and I don't actually know of any other brands that are actually doing this, so very nice. You can always tell that they care about the product. This will actually help you keep this cooler through quite a few system upgrades as well. Something to think about. As far as the tubing length goes, it's pretty standard. We're looking at about 400 millimeters. And overall, this system only uses about 5.4 watts worth of power, according to Be Quiet. I think that's pretty reasonable for an AIO. As I mentioned, I do have the ARGB version here, it's the LX, but you can get a non-lit version as well. The non-lit version does come in 240, 280, and 360. The RGB version only comes in 240 and 360. Not sure why, but it might be temporary, but that's what we're looking at right now. In terms of the cooling performance, I ran Prime 95 with the smallest FFT to see like a worst case power load scenario. The CPU was cooled very well. It really honestly ran into a power limit before it ran into a temperature limit, which is excellent. When I ran 3D Mark, I wanted to see what the cores would hit in terms of peak clock speed. In my opinion, these water coolers really shine because they have the capacity to absorb a ton of heat when the CPU bursts up in terms of clock speed for a short amount of time. They'll be able to soak that in and dissipate it relatively well. I was easily able to hit about 5.5, 5.6 GHz during the CPU testing and in the game benchmarks. I ran it through a Cinebench test as well, and it was no sweat for this. The CPU cooler handled it like a champ. My 9600X was able to boost up just a little bit higher than it was on air cooling with PBO enabled. Overall, I would say this is a pretty solid entry into the AIO market, and if you're looking for a cooler, especially 240, 280, if you don't need ARGB, 
or the 360 mil, the Pure Loop 3 is a pretty solid option to choose for your gaming rig. Right now it looks like the 240 mil version of this is coming in right around 110 bucks on Newegg and Amazon, which I think is a pretty solid price for this level of performance, build quality, and of course you're getting ARGB fans. I built this whole system in a Be Quiet 501DX, and I'm using my 9600X and an ASUS B650E Wi-Fi gaming motherboard. I think this cooler really completes the build, and it looks nice on top of that. If you're interested in learning more about this, I'll have an affiliate link in the description below. You can check it out, as well as current pricing. If you're interested in more component reviews, PC and home server builds, or gaming benchmarks, consider getting subscribed to the channel and ringing that bell for notifications. Until next time, keep on gaming.